Breadth First Search Breadth First Search is an algorithm to traverse a graph. What do I mean by traversing a graph? I am going to visit all the vertices and the edges. In the previous videos, we have looked at depth first search, which is another way to traverse the same graph. So before we go into the actual steps required to perform breadth first search, let's first understand how it is going to be different from depth first search. In depth first search, we kept exploring vertices or we kept visiting vertices until we reached a dead end where there are no more edges to traverse from that vertex and then we backtracked. So what did we do in depth first search? Explore till we reach a dead end and then backtrack. So that is one way to traverse the graph. So what are we going to do in breadth first search that is going to be different from this? In breadth first search we are going to identify levels in the graph say level 0, level 1, level 2 then we are going to traverse or visit all the vertices in level 0 then go to level 1 visit all the vertices in level 1 finish it then go to level 2 and visit all the vertices in level 2 and so on so breadth first search is a level by level exploration of the graph. Once again to reiterate, depth first search, we explore the graph till we reach a dead end and we backtrack. Breadth first search, we explore the graph level by level. So with this in mind, let's look at an example and see what the steps will be to perform breadth first search. Let's say that this is the graph we want to traverse. In the beginning of breadth first search, all the vertices are going to be unvisited and all the edges are going to be undiscovered. So let's say I represent unvisited vertex with a single circle. And undiscovered edges with a line. So in the beginning, all the vertices are unvisited, all the edges are undiscovered. So now, I am going to set an arbitrary vertex as my start. So, choose a start vertex. In this example, I am going to choose A. After choosing A as my start vertex, I'm going to visit A. So now my graph looks like this. So I'm going to visit A. Let's say I represent that with a shaded circle. Now I'm going to set the level of A to level 0. So now what are my vertices at level 0? I have one vertex that is A. Now, for all vertices in level 0, 
that is for A, I am going to go to each undiscovered edge. So, for all vertices in level 0, go to every undiscovered edge. So let's say I go to this edge which is undiscovered. Now every undiscovered edge is going to follow with another vertex. Let's call this vertex the adjacent vertex. Now for the vertex that follows which is the adjacent vertex if that vertex is unvisited then then what will we do we will visit that vertex and add it to the next level if that vertex is visited then we will set the edge to be a cross edge Note that when we are visiting this vertex, the edge is going to become a discovery edge. So let's see what our graph looks like now. I'm at edge, I'm at vertex A, which belongs to L0. Now I'm going to go to my first undiscovered edge. I'll go to B. So I have A, which is visited. I'm going through this undiscovered edge and I'm going to B. B is unvisited, so I'm going to disc I'm going to visit it. I'm going to make this edge a discovery edge. So let's say that a double line represents our discovery edge. So now I have finished that edge. Now I'll go to the next edge. This is a undiscovered edge. I'll go to C. C is unvisited, so I'll visit it. I'll make that edge a discovery edge. Now I'll go to the next undiscovered edge. This is going to lead me to D. I'll discover D. This will become a discovery edge. Now A was at L0, level 0. I'm going to visit B. I make this edge a discovery edge. I add B to the next level. So the level after L0 is going to be L1. Similarly, I go to C, I dis visit C, I make that edge a discovery edge, add it to the next level. What is the level after L0? L1. Similarly, D will also be at L1. So the rest of the graph stays the same. Now, after L0, we have gone to L1, which is B, C, and D. Now, in L0, that is for A, there are no more undiscovered edges to traverse. So, for L0, no more undiscovered edges to traverse so we can go to L1 so now L1, L0 has been completed why do we say it has been completed because there are no more undiscovered edges incident on L0 to traverse so what must we do now we go to L1 So we had a graph that was looking like this.
So now we had finished L0 since there are no more undiscovered edges incident on L0. Now we go to L1. So we go through each vertice of L1. Let's go to B first. Now for B, I'm going to go to each of the undiscovered edges. Let's say I take this edge first. So I go through this undiscovered edge and I reach C. C is already visited. So what must I do? I need to set that edge as a cross edge. So let's say I'm going to represent a cross edge like this. So now I will use this undiscovered edge, go to C, C is visited, so I set that edge as a cross edge. Now I go to the next undiscovered edge from B. I use this undiscovered edge and I reach E. E is an unvisited vertex. So what must I do? I visit the vertex and I discover the edge. After that I add E to the next level. What is the level after L1? Level after L1 is L2. Now I come back to B. Are there any more undiscovered edges that I can traverse? No. So we say that B is finished. Now we go to C. I am at C now. So now look at there are three undiscovered edges from C. Let me go to the first one. I took this undiscovered edge and I reach E. E is already visited. So what must I do? I make this edge a cross edge. I go to the next one. F. F is unvisited. So I will visit it and make this edge a discovery edge. Now I will go to this edge. D is visited. So I am going to make this a cross edge. Are there any more edges that are incident on C that are undiscovered? No. So C is over. Now I go to D. D has one undiscovered edge. I use that edge and I go to F. F has already been visited. So this becomes a cross edge. So are there any more edges incident on D that are undiscovered? No. So D is over. So now entire L1 has been traversed. Once L1 is over we go to L2. Since C discovered F and the level after C is L2 we say F is also in L2. So what are the vertices in L2? We have E and we have F. So now we go to E. Are there any edges that are incident on E that are undiscovered? No. So E is over. We go to F. Are there any vertices or rather are there any edges that are undiscovered that are incident on F? No. So we say F is over. So with that L2 also completes. Now we go to L3. Are there any vertices in L3? No. So then we can stop. So our final graph is going to look like this. A discovered at L0. Then we have B. We discovered it at L1. We had C. We discovered it at L1. We had D. We discovered it at L1. So then we discovered E. At L2. This became a cross edge. This became a cross edge. From C we discovered F. We put that in L2. This became a cross edge and this became cross edge. Now the order in which we 
traversed these nodes are A, B, C, D, E and F. As you can see, we have explored the nodes level by level. A, B, C, D, E and F. So with that, breadth first search ends. So all the vertices have been visited and none of the edges are undiscovered. This is how the breadth first search algorithm is going to work.